wonderful morning to the people of the world. This is your boy Rob Dorsey, your favorite neighborhood nerd, and uh, I'm here with a new vlog, and um, I tried something a little different today. I'm going with, you know, a couple different camera angles so I can uh, potentially up my production value, you know what I mean? So the camera that I have here is an 8-man 4K action camera, which is, you know, just a point and shoot, and uh, it records in 4K, so it's supposed to be you know, better than what I've usually been using, which is this one here, the Canon EOS Rebel T3, and it's super outdated, and you know, don't blame me, whatever, man. I have to sell some beats, you know? I need to sell some beats, get paid for some features, and you know, I'll be able to get a new camera, but until then, I'm shooting on this uh, Canon EOS, and the picture quality is awesome, the video quality is awesome, the only issue is, the rendering in the computer only renders these videos in 720p. So, with that being said, 4K is like three steps above 720p. So, you know, I'm doing this to see if I can end up getting this camera to help this camera render out in 4K. So, let's see what happens. Anyway, like I said, I'm Rob Dorsey and I'm here with a vlog. Um, I woke up today. And uh, I got a notification on Facebook that my buddy Ivan Thomas, man, his daughter told him that she didn't like her hair because it's not like any other girl's hair in the you know class that she's in and everything. And um, I particularly found that, you know, very sad to hear, you know, because you just you don't want, you know, your kids to feel that way about themselves. You know, you want your kids to love themselves and growing up. You know, we may have gone through that, but we got to a place where we accept ourselves for who we are. You know what I mean? And we we look at ourselves as, you know, beautiful people. And that's the way it's supposed to be, you know, because once you get to a certain level or once you get to a certain age or you reach this frequency. There's nothing anybody can tell you. You're beautiful and that's it. You know what I mean? That's how I look at myself. You know, I'm like, I don't want to hear, you know, anybody's opinion of me. Because if it don't line up with me being beautiful, what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, hey, man, you wrong. I don't care what you think. <laughs> you wrong. I'm a beautiful someone. But I, mm. Yeah, so so I wanted to send a message out to that young lady. Um, I already did on Facebook, but I just want you to know, sweetheart, you are beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. And don't forget, there's power in the curls. You know what I mean? I once made a song. And um, this is when I had a fro. I had a fro at the time. I had one line that said, I said something about, I said something about being a comedic heir. Now, if you don't know, Kemet is the original name for Egypt. Okay. So, you know, so I mentioned being a comedic heir, Africa being the birthplace of all things, Egypt being the birthplace of civilization. So you go with, uh, you know, I said, I'm a comedic heir. And then after that, I said, I feel my hair attached me to energy that no one knew was there. So, well, once you start doing some research on, you know, the hair that they call nappy or, you know, really curly, kinky hair, you start to realize or you start to, you know, educate yourself as to really curly hair kind of acts as an antenna because we all have a frequency. We all give off radio waves. We all give off, well, not radio waves, but we all give off a certain vibration. and at the top, the curlier your hair is, the more connected you can be to the universe around you. So with that being said, little young lady, please start to, you know, look at yourself and say, I'm beautiful every day. You know what I mean? And that goes out to all the young ladies, all the all the little girls out there, even the little boys, man. Don't ever try to measure yourself through the other people that you see, you know, because there's misrepresentation on TV, in the movies. Everywhere, you're not going to become Spider-Man, you know, don't go trying to, you know, get bit by spiders and get these superpowers, you know, but you can be the greatest you that you can be. So you need to find the power in inside. You need to look at yourself, understand that you have value, you have worth, you are perfect as you are. You know what I mean? And once you realize that, that's when you can then take yourself and make yourself bloom. All right. So on to the next subject, man. So. It's your boy Rob Dorsey. I'm down here in beautiful Middletown, Delaware, and uh, I got this in the mail today. I'm sure you'll see. I don't know if you can see. See that? 
So this is a magazine about Middletown life. And uh, I don't know if this is weekly or monthly, but I wanted to go through this magazine real quick with y'all to see, you know, what was in here. Because I never looked at one. I've been down here for two years and I never looked at one of these magazines. So I wanted to see what, 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 what is Middletown life all about? Because since I've been down here, it's been about ordering pizza and waiting for new stores to open. And that's about it. <laughs> Coming back up to Newark. <laughs> and it's funny that I mentioned, Sp I didn't realize Spider-Man was on here. So just know that. It's funny that I mentioned Spider-Man earlier. But, um, yeah, and you see this right here, like, come on, little girls, you don't have to, you don't have to be Ariel from under the sea, you know what I mean, to be beautiful, don't worry about that. All right, so, let's see, first page, first page, you got a, got a bank, you got Delaware Park, so you got a bank and you got Delaware Park. On the first page, advertisement. I don't read magazines unless I see an interesting picture. Either one of those pictures would interest. Tractors. You got tractors and shown lumber. Oh, yay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Middletown Life. This is the fall and winter edition. So I'm guessing these might be seasonal or I don't know. I'll look that up. So you got the table of contents here. Middletown Life Table of Contents, page 10. Look at this. We are, we're about to be on page 10, and the contents of the magazine have not even been spoken of yet. So, Table of Contents starts out on page 10. So, here we go. See it? Yeah, you see it. You see it. So, page 10 is, Love is Blooming at the Levels Road Dog Park. Okay, I've been to this park. Levels Road Park is beautiful. I'm mad that they have so many parking lots. So many gazebos, a dog park, and no basketball court. How do you not have a basketball court in a park that big? You don't even have tennis courts. Like, come on. Like, levels roll. You need to get it together, bro. Like, it's, I mean, I understand people going to be out there barbecuing, this, that, and the third. But, yo, when we have a barbecue, we're going to want to play some basketball, too. Like, come on. You got to do better than a dog park before a basketball court. Bruh, anybody? No? Okay. So, page 20 was the Old Time Peach Festival. That was less, that was two weeks ago, and it was bananas down here, man. Like, they shut down the whole main street. I didn't go, but I heard it was beautiful, and I always hear it is a good time. I'm not a big fan of peaches like that, but nerd up on what you like. Um, Page 50 is the profile of Deanna Fitzpatrick. All right, I'll uh, I'll jump to that to see who that is and you know why she has a whole profile. Looks like it's 16 pages long too. I won't read all of that, but yeah. So page 66, the firefighter commitment, training, and time. Looks like there's a piece on firefighters here. So I mean that's good. It's, it's firefighters are very important. You know what I mean? They are an integral part in saving lives when there's fires. Um, I know California has been going crazy with wildfires, man. Um, if there's any fires breaking out out here, we have a, like, it's a pretty, it's a small town. So the fire department should be able to get to you guys, you know, quick, quick very quick. quick you know, know what I mean? mean? Page 86. Man, they got 20 pages on firefighters. Jeez. So page 86, bringing out the leader in everyone. Hmm. Hmm. I like the way that sounds. Um, I try to be a lead. Well. I, there is no trying in being a leader. You either are or you're not, you know. And it's important to be a leader at all times because you really can, you know, fall to the uh, whims of the people that you're around a lot if you don't hold tight within your own convictions, you know what I mean? Be strong as a person, man, you know. It all comes to knowing your self-worth and knowing who you actually are, you know. So... Page 44. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. All right, this is... Hold on. This is this just made me mad a little bit. All right, so... You got page 10. Page 20. Page 50. 
page 66, page 86, and then page 44, and then page 80. Like, who did this? Who really did this? Who took the time to actually do this? Like, this is, this is, this is messed up. Like, I, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little upset about this, man. You gotta keep your numbers in order, baby, please. All right, so page 44, they did a thing on uh, Townsend Mayor Rudy Sutton. That's cool. That's, I believe that's Mayor Rudy Sutton right there. Good to see you, brother. Congratulations. I'm definitely going to read that, just so you know. And then page 80, there's a photo essay. Middletown lets the dogs out. I'm not going to be around for that. Um, I'm not going to read that. Um, keep your dog on the leash. I'm allergic. Sometimes I get allergic reactions. Uh, I'm going to close my windows and put the air conditioning on when they do that, just so I don't get no accidental dog hair all up in my space because, you know, it just ain't right, man. But yo, so I wanted to check out Deanna Fitzpatrick. So let's go to page 50. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Mayor Rudy Sutton is on 44. So let's go there first because it's on the way. You see how I like to go in order? You see that? There he is. Townsend Mayor Rudy Sutton. Oh, how about that? So Mayor Rudy Sutton pictured here. He's standing next to the uh, Townsend historical town marker. So before we get into who Mayor Rudy Sutton is, let's read what the town marker says. So a community of free African Americans. Okay, I I didn't expect this. I did not. A community of free African-Americans known as Charlie Town was located here by the mid 19th century. Between 1845 and 1855, brothers Samuel and John Townsend purchased several large tracts of farmland in the vicinity. The Delaware Railroad arrived here in 1856, bisecting Samuel Townsend's property. This led to a period of sustained growth for the town. As the railroad station became the principal shipping point for the area's agricultural products. In September 1856, the post office was established and the first hotel opened in 1857. Following a healthy debate among the residents, the station was named Townsend <laughs> after the area's major landowners. <laughs> the peach industry was a vital contributor to the area's growth and prosperity until disease destroyed many of Delmarva's orchards in the late 19th century. On April 3rd, 1885, Townsend was formally incorporated by the Delaware General Assembly. In 1986, Townsend Historical District was listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Wow. Bro. So I never knew that Townsend was founded by black folks. This is cool. I never knew this. So that's, that's pretty special. I'm happy to be down here now. Well, I already was, but like, I'm a little more happy. Now that just means I have to go ahead and open up my pub or my uh, my brew house down here because I have a I have a I have a strategic idea on opening the brewery, and I'm not going to share it right now, but I'm looking for people who are passionate about beer and multimedia stuff. And also bring some capital to the table. That's a major component in what we need to get this thing started. So hit me up if you guys are interested in a brewery. Let me know. All right. So let's see if they have anything on the mayor. So he's from Newcastle. And uh, his wife started working at Townsend Elementary in 2004. They were intrigued by the school district original. And um, so they moved down here in 2006. Um, he's actually a carpenter. And he went to Dell Castle. What? Okay. My alumni. Fellow Wildcat. What's up? All right. I, I, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Is that, Is that the... I think Dell Castle's... Yeah, I think it's Wildcat. It's a Bob. No, it's Wildcat. Dell Castle Wildcats. I don't know. You graduated from Dell Castle too, right? Stand up. Tell me what's up. 
Let me know, because I, I, I really don't remember. Maybe it was. All right, so uh, pretty much to run for sit town council as soon as he moved down here. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. He says his neighbor was running for town council when he moved down here. And um, he always wondered what it would be like to be involved with the government. So um, she said it would be, a, his wife told him it would be a good opportunity for him to run for a, a council seat. And um, so he ended up uh, going out for the uh, town council in 2013. And um, he went against five people for three open spaces. So, um, so the residents vote you into council. But the council appoints the mayor and you only be your only mayor for one term, which is one year. And so now he's in his second term. So he's been doing pretty good, man. And um, I'm actually happy to read this story. And I'm glad that I stumbled across this. I'm glad that I picked this up because I usually just. I'm sorry, but I usually just toss them in the recycle. This time something just drew me to it and I wanted to do an episode on it. So. That was great to come across, man. Just seeing what Townsend, which is right across the street, just seeing what Townsend was based off of, seeing their mayor, hearing them talk. And yeah, I'm happy about that. So that's what's up. So I was in, you know, starting off the vlog, just seeing the representation that we have as melanated people in the media. You know, this includes black, brown, um, all shades, you know, of colors with Seeing the representations that we have available to us, it's very hard to actually have a positive image in your mind if you don't look close or exactly like the people that you see every day. So it's good to see things like this, and it's good to hear things like the town being settled by melanated people. It's a great thing. It's an ego booster because, you know, people may think ego is a bad thing, and it is for people who are born with pride already and then they have ego on top of that no when a people as a whole are beaten down for so long pride stripped heritage stripped history erased when all that when all that happens to you you don't know what pride is anymore. you don't understand what it is Ego is not even in your imagination. You know what I mean? You got to learn about ego in school. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mental health class. Like you learn that there is a such thing as an ego in your brain. And the programming is. What do you do with that? You know what I mean? When you see things like this, you have to have a sense of pride in them because those are your people that did that. Like it's oh, OK. I didn't know that this happened here. You know what I mean? And it opens your it opens your eyes to what's not only possible, but what has been done and what you have to do to to perceive that. You see what I mean? And um, it's a it's a it's a beautiful feeling. And I hope you guys feel that, too. And um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to continue to drink my coffee for the day. I might drink some tea, um, but. Also, don't think I'm not drinking some water. I got some water, too. You know, it just makes a lot of noise. I don't like people seeing me drink out of bottles like this. It's, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's not something I do all camp. But um, so <laughs> I know that's, that's, that's strange, whatever. But um, I just want you guys to know that I got nothing but love for all y'all. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way through, please like the please. Well, even if you didn't, well, if you didn't make it all the way through, you wouldn't see this. But if you like, if you made it all the way through. Please hit that like button for me. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, also, I got some links down in the description for my social media. Hit those things up. Come say what's up to me. Talk to me. Put some things in the comments, man. Let me know if um, you agree with my message, if you disagree with my message, if you have some love for me, have some hate for me, whatever. It's okay. Everything is love in my heart. So thank, thank you. I love you. I love you. Let's get together and uh, make something happen. All right? Peace out, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Nerd up.